Now, Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kamaka Peeling. Aloha, Hiahi. Good evening, everybody. Looking at a beautiful shot from Hilo towards Mauna Kea. Now, this sky is a perfect depiction of the types of uh, sky conditions we've had across the state today and yesterday and possibly even tomorrow. Now, in the terms of our weather threat for tomorrow, nothing really on the radar with the exception, of course, of our ocean conditions. And in case you missed it in the last hit, we do have a bunch of advisories that high surf warning for all north and west facing shores of all islands, with the exception of Hawaii Island, which has a high surf advisory for its north facing shores all of that plus the small craft advisory in effect at least until tomorrow at six o'clock in the morning now in terms of the winds if you have been <coughs> excuse me if you haven't realized that the winds have been nice and breezy well you have one more day to enjoy that tomorrow as that starts to ease off by tomorrow night into Tuesday and that's because we have a high pressure system north of our islands that is going to be moving farther northeast from our state now that's going to start to uh, bring down those street, those trade winds, but on the opposite side, we have this cold front associated with this strong low pressure system, which is going to be approaching and expected to reach the west end of our state by Tuesday night. So that's again going to ease off our winds, create a, a short round of light and variable winds. But as that cold front mo moves through, it's going to be accompanied by some strong and gusty northerly and even northeasterly winds. That's what we can experience through Wednesday. Now, as that moves through, again, that is going to be also followed by by another high pressure system behind that that should return our trade winds back to a typical trade wind pattern by Friday into the weekend. Now in terms of rainfall it's been nice and dry across the state. Tomorrow is going to be another similar day but as you can see that cold front again moves in by Tuesday. Most of that activity though is far north of the island so this particular round of a cold front is looking to be more shallow and weak than the ones we've had seen in the past so no heavy downpours are expected. Checking out our surf around the island Again, north 12 to 16 tomorrow, 8 to 12 for the west tomorrow as well. All inexperienced south shores, flat to three is your best bet. Now, looking at the days ahead of us, we have beautiful days the, for tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday or so. That's when we expect that new cold front to arrive. And if you look at uh, Wednesday and Thursday, our high is actually expected not even to reach uh, the 80 degree point. So that's going to be a blessing for Wednesday and Thursday. It's going to be nice and cool. Kathy, back to you.